Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, welcome back to the race trailer upgrades. So, we're in the race trailer currently, um, we just got done the bathroom stuff all wrapped up, but that is leading us next to, into the next thing that I want to do, and that is in here in the race trailer, and that is to pr put a sink in the race trailer. So, I have this sink, um, it was actually one that we were throwing away at work from something they had redone. Um, so this I think will be perfect for the trailer. It is a little big um, I actually cut it down already. So it is a little smaller and I've made a template So here's my template. I'm not sure how it's gonna all work with the trim and all that kind of stuff but the plan is to put the sink in the trailer here and then if we're working on our transmission or changing a transmission out which is very common for what we're doing with the race truck we can come in here, wash all the transmission fluid and stuff off us, so that way when we go into the living quarters, we can get a shower and not crap that all up. Um, when we did do our um, shower and all, we did run plumbing out here. We have cold and hot um, pack tubing, and we'd have a drain right here. So this will all feed back into our gray tank and just be easy peasy. Um, while we were at it, I just figured this was going to be a nice upgrade to do eventually, but we're gonna tackle it now. So first step is to figure out exactly how our template and all is gonna lay out and get this thing installed. We're gonna have to cut a hole in our cabinets. Um, like I said, I had to cut down our sink because with the size of it, the sink was actually, I'd have to cut into the front here, but with cutting it down, we'll be all behind the cabinet. So when you close the door, everything will look nice. So that's the plan. Want to make it kind of look like it's supposed to be there, like it was there when we got it and just have facilities or I'll have facilities, have a sink set up here in the garage portion of the trailer. So without further ado, I'll get to figuring this out and we will cut a hole in our trailer, um, our trailer workbench. Later that same evening, so we are ready for our sink to be installed. Got our hole cut out. Everything went well. Um, I would have set up a tripod, but well, trailer's a mess, and it's also hard to kind of set something up to film in this tight spot. But basically, our um, sink is going to go in here like this, and we will get it all centered up, you know, so everything's right and then get our trim back down. I will eventually caulk under this. Um, we have some fasteners that we have for the sink that attach to some rails on a sink. Right here, this rail right there, they slide on there and we'll attach it down. I think this is gonna look good. Eventually I will make a plate to go over this. So, hey, if we're not using the sink, we can still have a full work surface, but liking how it's turned out so far. I mean, all we've done is put a hole in our cabinetry, but it is working out. So very happy with this all. So I'm gonna keep moving forward and get back with you guys here in a little bit. 2,000 years later. So quite a while later, our sink installation is complete. Got our hot and cold water hooked up, our drains all hooked up, got all of our lines ran. Open this cabinet too, so you guys can see, but basically just came over from our um, inch and a half PVC pipe, not thinking that, hey, this is just gonna be soapy water and all. Um, I should have just ran inch and a half PVC from the get over there. Um, but then I have the two PEX lines that come up against the wall and then go up into the sink. And as you can see by this clear one, it is winterized, so we don't have to worry about it freezing. But I got a couple stainless steel flex lines, um, just, you know, with traveling and all that to keep stress off this PVC. Also, I have some copper tubing that I used that I mounted to the floor of the trailer to keep that part sturdy. And as you can see here, we have two valves, so that way we can choose to run our our um, discharge outside of the trailer for home or what have you but also then we can put it to our gray tank um if we got to play nice so and all that very happy with how all that came out um the sink turned out fantastically i'm very happy with that whole setup i've been really even spent a lot of time in the trailer trying to figure out how to maximize the space because even though it is a 48 foot trailer with i don't know a 30 foot garage in here want to maximize the space as best we can like i have a folding table up there 
it's like a little dinette thing for cooking outside. I don't know if that's going to stay in the trailer or not. But oil drain pan, um, a little box for miscellaneous bolts and nuts. Toolbox, also got a vise installed now. Um, a wire wheel and a little grinder. Got some chargers mounted up there, some hand soap. I should probably get some paper towels, you know, paper towel holder there as well. Um, also been working on our cabinets, like I said, trying to maximize the space. So like in here, I got our big canopies back there, um, a little jug for um, like transmission fluid or whatever, transmission funnel, transmission fluid, chairs, compressor, um, fuel, just trying to maximize every square inch of the trailer so that way we can, you know, when we go racing, we have everything where we want it. Another thing I'm going to do eventually is actually mount the spare tire here against the wall of the trailer because, yes, the trailer has this little hidden compartment for the spare tire, but if the race truck and the four wheel are in here, now I gotta back everything out to get to the spare tire. Just doesn't make sense. So we will be keeping some other stuff in here. I got like a couple hoses, fan, a little pump, um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the little pump is for when we go to a race or whatever. I have this tank that I put in the bed of my truck. And that tank is simply for our fresh water. So if we go to the track, we don't really have to worry about fresh water. Um, you know, for cooking or for getting a shower or whatever. We have that tank in the back of the truck. We need more fresh water. I can hook the pump and a hose up, fill our fresh water, and any track we go to, they're gonna have more water so we can, you know, have it for those things and not have to skimp and, you know, get like a little measly shower or whatever. So that way we have plenty of fresh water. The only problem is just emptying the gray water tank and finding a place for that, which I have a little tote for that as well. Um, that we will bring along. So that's the sink install on the trailer. Um, really liking the trailer for a simple fact. I can come out here and just kind of piddle around, like I said, finding different spots for different stuff, mounting the chargers, mounting the um, vice, just little jobs to make life in the trailer when we're at the track that much easier. Also, I got this uh, toolbox that I had had a few sections of and then I was able to find another top for it um, just cheap craftsman toolbox um, it's not going to be leaving the trailer more than likely it'll just stay right in here I'm trying to get it all loaded up with all the tools we need so it's not a matter of you know what tools do I need to grab to take the track with me a matter of load up four-wheeler load up the race truck and hit the road so just trying to go for all the creature comforts if you guys got any other ideas of things we can do in here to make it better put them down in the comments below so hope you guys enjoyed just another little thing with the trailer like i said really just kind of it's very relaxing to come out here and just kind of pedal around in the trailer for a few hours at night and and yeah just kind of get a little bit done at a time and make life on the road a little easier so once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe down below. Catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage, get the wrench on your truck.